Artificial intelligence is increasingly transforming our lives, from education over healthcare to technological development. However, there are also concerns about its shortcomings and risks. This week, Euronews has partnered with CGTN for a debate on AI for good. So we asked our guests, how good really can it be? I think uh, when we are talking about AI for good, uh, we're talking about AI for uh, ecology and human good. Let's say you don't understand the relationship among human, other animal species all over the world. So you can use uh, AI to draw the network of human to other animals and also to all the kind of plants so that you bring a biodiversity network that help you to understand the re relationship among human and the other living beings. The first thing that will come to mind is actually education. So I think one of the very primary uses of AI today that uh, is helping uh, many, many kids at schools and universities across the world is now they can ask the AI to explain to them any complex topic like quantum physics, for example. Many students in the world don't have access to great teachers and now they're gonna have an amazing teacher in their pocket. We just have to be super careful here because the AI will never be as good as a good human teacher. I disagree. Uh, <laughs> we need to be clear about what aspects of our thinking we're willing to allow the AI to do and what aspects of our thinking it's important that we keep for ourselves. Because once we stop doing them, once we hand them over, we won't be able to do them anymore. Mm. First of all, we really need to increase the education for the populations about AI. I have a slightly different view from Rose, uh, which is that it's more important to sort of increase the infrastructure and increase the access and allow more of countries and societies to actually engage with this. For those underdeveloped countries, uh, what they are lack of now is not only AI technology itself, but also the information and telecommunication infrastructure. So in the first place, uh, we need to uh, build the capacities and bring the capabilities for them, we need to build uh, networking and data infrastructures for them. And on top of that, you, you can help them to develop uh, AI models and services. This is a fascinating discussion. I would like to thank all our uh, guests and our media partner, Euro News. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Wei, let me join you in thanking our guests. I think we really end this with a lot of food for thought on the future of AI for everybody. Bye-bye.